I'm getting ready, y'all. I know you can hear me a little bit. I'm misting <laughs> the behind-the-scenes sounds of Linda Israel's stream. Y'all ready? Hey, y'all. I'm a minute early. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Robin, you be safe. I saw that you said severe storm, so be careful out there. And hey, everybody else, if I don't call you out please forgive me because there's a lot of you and there's only one of me welcome 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 to my live stream today is may the 16th we started at 12 30 p.m central standard time remember if you're watching this as a replay right below my face is a little gear click on that you can change it to two times the speed so you can at least watch the video super fast and you can laugh at how i sound <laughs> I, I really appreciate all of y'all being here. I appreciate your support. Today we're going to raffle off a journal. I'm going to show you two journals and we'll kind of do a little quick vote uh, to choose which one's going to be in the raffle. Our goal for the raffle uh, drawing donation amount is just $50. Remember that if you make a donation during the stream, you get a chance to win the journal that I will raffle off at the end. And your donation gets you a free digital download from my shop actually it gets you several digital downloads from my shop you can go back and get all of them that are free and it also gives you a five percent discount make sure that after you donate that you go to my website click on the my account and create an account then click on contact me it's at the top of my website click on contact me and on there send me your thank you Deborah for your uh, donation send me your YouTube name and the email address that you use to create an account on my website and then I will get you added to my YouTube donators membership that gets you all these really cool neat things okay um, you do earn junk bucks hey everybody make sure you enter the raffle you do earn junk bucks for being here at the live streams. I'm getting my little note. You can check your bucks. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. You can check your bucks at exclamation point bucks. Get that in front of the dancing sheep, the dancing sheep, the dancing sheep. <laughs> um, and when you get to 2,000 junk bucks, you can redeem those points for a $10 off coupon to my shop, which reminds me, I'm going to share a coupon code today. I shared it in my Facebook group by Linda Israel. If you haven't joined my face group, uh, Facebook group, I can't get the words out. But please do, because, you know, it's not a very active group, so it's not going to be going bing, 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 bing all the time unless you 
choose to post. Thank you, Sherry, for your donation. Thank you so much. Um, then you'll get some bingings back and forth, if you will. But I wanted to share, I know I shared a coupon. Oh, there it is. Um, here's the coupon code. And I have a lot of variety to choose from in my shop. So I'll share that now. A few people are messaging me. Let me see what's going on here. Who's looking for me? Okay, I can help today, I think. Okay, uh, Jason has messaged me back. He's been really busy, and he said he can help me later today with the vertical banding issue that I'm having. So I'm glad that he's going to be able to probably spend a little bit of time to help me with that. I just shared the coupon code. It's $10 off a $50 purchase in my shop. Um, I'm sharing that, especially for those of you that don't watch, um, I'm just replying to Jason. I don't want to be rude to him because um, I don't want to lose his help. Um, you know, some of y'all don't watch live, so you're missing out on earning your junk buck. So there's your coupon code, 10 off 50 through my website. It excludes the subscription items and the t-shirts, but you can get rubber stamps, stencils, some of my... Um, uh, gel prints, all of those types of things that I have in there. And it'll tell you when you're, when you put the coupon code in. So $10 off of 50 for those of you that are watching this in the replay. Also make sure you join my buy Linda Israel group. All right. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> um, <clears throat> hey, hey, hey. All right, Mariana. Well, we're glad you stopped in. Thank you, Giovanna. Beverly does some awesome work. I'm going to show a few things about uh, what she's been working on. I've also added a bunch of rubber stamps, and I've also added, um, what did I add? Oh, I added Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. The 27th, 27th, we're going to be doing Punked Out Steam, and this is just a quick peek at some of that so you don't want to miss out on that next subscription box i've been working on getting things up norella has to um another kit you might look at that norella is offering is these labels i've already cut up some of them but they're really cool colorful um some other things that she's doing is the beekeeper so if you love bees and we've got the daydreaming kits are still in my shop you can still buy those they're now shipping out i have them ready i have a limited amount of those so make sure that you get one quick it's perfect for the virtual junk journal camp retreat that starts june the third i'm a member of that so if you haven't joined that it's only 25 dollars. you get 12 days of multiple tutorials and inspirational projects and coupon codes to lots of stores with special deals so you really can't beat what you're getting it's a Facebook group you'll be able to do units where you can click on each one and mark it off that you've done it if you can't get it done that day that is fine we're not gonna hold you to that we want you to enjoy it but it'll be there for you when you have time when you want to spend your time going through that all right yeah the beekeeper is awesome I am wearing I'll change my uh, shirt for I'm wearing the, uh, it's a junk journal type of thing t-shirt. It's a pale pink ladies t-shirt. I now have those in my shop as well. In fact, I have an extra large that's ready to ship. So if you're wanting an extra large one of these in pink, I've got it ready. I can just put it in a package today and ship it to you. Thank you, Robin, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. She says it's my turn. Um, Let's see, if you haven't already, enter the raffle. It's for 200 junk bucks, and we'll come back around to that. Robin, remind me in about 15 minutes to draw that, okay? I've got two journals that I made. These are made with Canvas Court Brands products, and I made them a while back. I never posted them for sale on my website because they kept them to use as samples. So I've got two of them here. One is a nautical theme. The other one is some floral, and I chose to do, she spread her wings, and I use little angel wings inside of it. It is made with canvas. This is watercolor weight paper so it's very thick so you could do some mixed media in this if you want you could add some tip ins and make some more journaling pages it's not a very big journal but it's a nice 
good feeling journal. So that is one of the journals that we could raffle off at the end. And then this is the nautical one. So again, I use the cardstock type papers. I use some canvas. This is even screen printed canvas that I put in here. And it's just a fun little journal trying to uh, show off some of their products that they have at Canvas Court Brands. I'm not sure about the first journal if they even sell that paper anymore because they did make some changes, but I just want to show y'all. So let me know, do you want the nautical or do you want the wings journal? And then we will raffle that off at the end if we get to $50 in donations. Um, again, I added a bunch of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mess, so we'll show you. Do you want to see those? Do you care? <laughs> We've got lots of colors, different shades of pink. I've got some, oh, thank you, Debbie. A beautiful tealy, turquoisey uh, colors. We've got a pale, pale, like, uh, I think this is called periwinkle. It's a really pale purple. So lots of pretty colors that are now in my shop. Um, and if there's a color you want that I don't have in my shop, let me know. And when I place my next order, I will get it. Okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, Elizabeth. So glad to have you here. Hey, Kathy and Norella and Nancy and Giovanna and Mariana and Robin, of course, and Norella. Thank you so much to be here. And Sherry and Kathy and Carrie. Okay. So someone's going to have to keep track that I can trust. Robin, can you kind of count up how many say wings and how many say nautical? And then that way we know. Gotcha. Thank you so much, Debbie, for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here, okay? Um, let's see. Um, Beverly is of Beeline Designs. You'll see Beverly S. in the chat here. She's my stamp lady, and she came by to see me the other day and helped me with getting things ready for the daydreaming kit, so I am very grateful for her help. And while she was here, she was showing me some of her projects. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that she made, mostly using her rubber stamps, some of my stencils. She also used some scrapbook paper, it looks like, and just a few other little things to make this. So it's kinda cool. I see wings a lot. Wings, wings, wings. <laughs> Wings for me. Okay, I think it's going to be wings. Okay, we're going to do wings, I think. I think. <laughs> so here's what she did. She made this page, and it's got a little pocket on it. It's got these little tags. And I didn't even show this. I did a flip through last night of several uh, journals. She made this little foldy tag. Isn't that kind of cool? So she's used a stamp on the inside. Use this as a stamp that she has. And I'm going to start offering even more stamps in my shop. So even though I may not have these right now, I will at some point. Beverly has 1,500 designs. And so I'm just putting them in one at a time as I come to them, okay? Wings it is, it sounds like. <laughs> and so she made this little page. So when you are in your journal and you flip it, if you notice, it's kind of got an accordion fold to it. So you get a neat interactive page if you will and she said once you have it bound into your journal as the center of your journal then you could paste down this side and you've got a neat page and I said well Beverly why do that I like your little clip that you have on here why couldn't you just take that clip and use that and then your journal page would open up and you've got writing space here and you've got a pocket and then whatever you decorate on this page or in the most cases of a journal it wouldn't line up to this page if you don't put it in the center so let's just pretend that this is the page i'm going to fold it so it's which way i'm going to go this way i'm going to fold this and we'll pretend it's another journal page that got stacked on top of the first one and then what you would do is you would attach it to this page in your journal so when you're flipping through I forgot to put the journal card back over here when you're flipping through your journal all right come on now cooperate thank you so much Carrie Ann for your donation thank you thank you thank you I don't have it set straight I think her pages are smaller than mine all right so let's just pretend you're flipping through your journal and you come to this page it's like oh that's really cool and then if you keep going because it's attached to this page now you have these other pages or you can unattach it 
and then this would be what you see behind it. So I don't know, I just wanted to share that. I've got a, a one here that I've started, so I'll show you what mine looks like. Um, and then this is how she kind of decorated. This is the Feeding Frenzy stencil. She used it with Tattered Angels. And these are all stamps that Beverly offers. And Beverly is supposed to come see me. I don't know if she's here. Is that you, Beverly? Come on in. Beverly's going to come say hi. <laughs> so I'm going to change the cameras so you can meet uh, Beverly. Come on in, Beverly. Hello. Hello. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of move like my chair. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Dropping uh, off an order. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She, I think she even kind of did her hair and her makeup today, too. Shh, so, <laughs> this is Beverly. I should have brought a cherry in here. She is no, a I Beeline know. Designs, and we've known each other we knew each other pretty well 20 years ago. We kind of didn't communicate very much, and then we mm -hmm. reconnected yes. again. So it's been a lot of fun yes, to to work with her and use her rubber stamps. And they're loving your stuff because oh, I good. showed it yesterday, and then I'm going to show it again here. So she's come by to give me some stamp orders <laughs> so I can mail out some more of my uh, orders that y'all have sent to me. So That's I'm right. glad she stopped by. Yeah, Hercules was barking at her. Yeah. Uh, they're really good. They bark, but they didn't prevent her from coming in at all, no, did they? No. <laughs> some smelling and licking, and we're smelling good. Uh, your list is on the table that's right by the door. Okay. And I also added a list, but that's not a right now list. That's as we... Okay. Okay. All right. So, anything you want to say? Hello to everybody. I really enjoy um, the group and have a lot of fun. Yay. And I love, um, you know, the interactions. And yeah. It's a lot of fun. And yeah. Thank you guys for welcoming yeah. new members. And supporting and her. Yes. Yay yes. stamps. Very Yay much. stamps. You exactly. Supporting. You know, that's that's yeah. what I'm all about. I want to support uh, the smaller uh, yeah. businesses, if you will. We're not corporate people. We're not no. Walmart, you know. No. I was pressing those stamps this morning. Yes. And she, cutting them out. Yes. So she does it herself. So it's yeah. amazing. So thank you for coming by. Give me a big hug. Oh. oh. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, right, guys. Get up now. Oh, no. <laughs> She's on the floor. <laughs> See you later, See Beverly. Bye-bye. Bye. So I trust her enough. I left my front door open so she could come in. <laughs> hey, Angelica. You can email me, Sandra. Um, Beverly doesn't make new designs, but I have the ability to make new designs, and that's something that I'm going to be working on. Um, I'm getting some helpers to help me with other things so that I can spend some more time designing stuff. Um, so if you have ideas or you have a, an image that you want made into a rubber stamp, send me a message and we can discuss it, okay? All right, so yay! All right. Um, let's see. Anybody else? Thank you so much for your thumbs up and for all your cares. And Beverly feels so welcome. So, yay! I'm on, Valerie! You're supposed to follow me. You know every Thursday, 1230, I'm live. Actually, I'm, I'm live every day. But I am live on YouTube on Thursdays at 1230. All right? <laughs> yeah, that was Beverly! Yay! You're very welcome, Sandra. Okay, so... I'm going to flip through this. This is another little thing that Beverly made. And these are all using her rubber stamps. My stencil here. Using some distress inks. A couple of printed things. One thing I want to let y'all know that with Beeline Designs, if you sit down and take the time to color an image, you know, it takes you a long time sometimes to, to color this image, to get it exactly the way you want. And then you stick it in something and it's done. You're done with it. Well, with Beeline Designs, you can scan your hand-stamped project into your computer and then print it and use it over and over and over. So I want y'all to know that because that's her angel policy is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. And I'm just going to kind of quickly show this. I did do a flip through video last night of this and a couple other. So like this is a scanned image. And here she took the same image and just altered it in a photo editing software. So you get two different looks. And I thought that was really clever. And this image is a lot larger. It's this size. But she scanned it in. And then she fussy cut it and put it on the page. She made some changes, did different colors, and then she shrunk it. So it's kind of cool to be able to do that. All right, what else do we have going on? Robin, you're welcome, you're welcome. 
All right, so I just wanted to show you that. So this is what, let me put this back in the Ziploc bag so it doesn't get messed up. <clears throat> so as I was coming on today, I was trying to think, what can I show y'all mixed media wise? Uh, you're welcome, Sandra. See, it's awesome. I can share these ideas. Uh, how can I show a little something? So here's my version of that same page that Beverly created. And what I did was, this is her rubber stamp, rubber stamp, and rubber stamp, and rubber stamp, and rubber stamp. This is scrapbook paper, okay, that I just cut. It's eight inches tall by four and a half wide, folded in half, cut into a tag, stapled a little piece of fabric on the top. Because, you know, sometimes this thinner paper, if you punch a hole, then you got to put a hole reinforcer. It's a whole nother ordeal. But if you just staple it on there, it's pretty strong. I didn't do anything on the inside. I left it blank. And that fits here. This is a gel print. So a lot of people were asking me, what do you do with the back side of your gel prints? Well, in this case, I used copy paper to make the gel print. So the back is white. So you have all this real estate to write upon. And I thought I would show you that. And this is from the Calico Collage Bella Rose Garden kit. And here is an image from the Dragonfly Delight. All right, I'm going to be right back. Y'all study this. Y'all enter the raffle. And I'm going to shut my front door because Hercules is going to bark at everything that walks by. <laughs> She gave me those stamps and I put them down somewhere. Oh, uh, there they are. <laughs> I better find them because I'll need them later. All righty. All righty. So what do you think so far of what I've created? Is that kind of cool? And then here's the back side. I used the journal line stencil to make journal lines and just kind of sprayed it with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And then this side, this was a gel print with the purple through a stencil and the journal lines kind of bled through and I also sprayed the outside edges with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist from the Royal Peacock set. I used the golden Peacock Gold. Peacock Gold. So it's a real bronzy gold color and that's what I sprayed around the edges. And then I took another gel print and because it had white areas around the edges I just added some washi tape and I thought this would look really pretty if I attach it on this page over here so that when you come through your journal you'll see at least that side depending on what's on this page and then we'll attach it over there. So I just thought I'd kind of share my version of the same thing that Beverly created. I thought that was kind of cool. You like it? Is that kind of fun? So let's kind of get started here. I'm going to move this out of the way. Um, ba, ba, ba. Okay, let me get a drink. That is shabby stitches. That is shabby stitches. I put the, I used the shabby stitches because I wanted to show that you don't have to physically sew it. That's the shabby stitches rubber stamp. But it looks sewn, doesn't it? Snickers! I love Snickers candy bars. I don't eat them as much anymore. The raffle this time is 200 junk bucks. All right, I'm going to put on my apron so I don't get my junk journal shirt dirty. I don't want to get it dirty, y'all. So I'm going to put this on. All righty. All right, so we're going to play around and do some mixed media stuff today. We're going to show you how to use some stencils. We're going to use some rubber stamps for some texture. We're just going to experiment and play and have a good time, okay? So I'm going to start off with, I've just got a piece of copy paper, if you will. In this case, it's a real pale um, green linen paper, and I bought 
like four or five reams of it for two dollars a ream when there was a business that had uh, printing supplies here in Oklahoma and so I thought I need to use some of this so what do we want to do what color what color do we want to do I think what I want to do is I'm going to find a couple of I've got some white and I've got some ivory. I see some white out. And I've got this purple, teal. Oh yeah, I've got all these colors. These are, these are the matte colors. So, and a lot of people ask me about, um, yes, it is for getting messy, I agree, but I don't want to get paint on it yet. I want it to accidentally happen sometime, not, you know. <laughs> so this paint to me is great for a mixed media project where you want to have a surface that you can write upon. It is matte when it's done. It accepts most pens when you write on top of it. So we're going to do some fun things here. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a key card, an old gift card, something like that. And then I've got a little tray here. And what we're going to do is put a little bit of paint. So I'm going to put some, let's put a little bit of white right in the middle. And I'm going to grab a little bit of, let's do these two tealy colors. So I'll put a little bit of teal on that side and a different teal on the other side. Oop, it's got a booger. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. So this is a technique that you don't have to have a gel plate. You don't have to have a lot of tools, if you will, and you can have a lot of fun with it. So I'm going to just grab the paint with my card and we're just going to mix it over the page. You don't want too many colors. I think three when you're doing this is plenty and it needs to be colors that either blend well together or complement each other. If you use colors that are too far apart, they will turn into mud, okay? And I'm just barely touching the page. I'm doing it in such a way that this is gonna dry really fast and it's a very thin, thin amount on this page. So I'm just going to scrape off any excess. So you get a neat texture right off the bat. You like that? Daubering or smudging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are good too. Good tools too. I'm going to dry this really fast and it shouldn't take very long to dry. Uh, when I'm doing this not live, I would just set it aside on my side table that I have over here and let it dry the rest of the way. But since I want to show y'all, you know, kind of start to finish techniques, I'm going to go ahead and dry it, okay? Dry the page. So what is everybody doing today? Y'all having a great, yeah, it kind of does look like the beginnings of a blue sky, doesn't it? It's kind of a tealy color. I am hoping that Jason can help fix my camera issue. I may have to buy different lights. That may be the problem because I'm using LED lights while they're bright. They're beautiful. They have a tendency to make cameras see uh, vertical banding. And that's what you're seeing like this bar that's coming across my hand. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I've got a couple of rubber stamps. These are the new... Um, crackle stamps that I have that are made by Beeline Designs and I think I want that one. I think that one will look really cool. I'm going to get a darker blue. So let's look here. This one's metallic. Okay, so I got a metallic blue. I'm going to put it in my palette over here and we're going to make this be a stamp pad. You could use um, your Distress Oxides if you want. You can use your Distress Ink Pads if you want, but I want to use the paint. I will say that you want to have handy a tub of water so you can wash off your stamp when you're done. And remember, these stamps are unmounted. They come with a plastic or paper backing. Peel that off and then you can stick it to an acrylic block. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do next is get another card. I'm going to kind of spread out this paint just a little bit to make it enough to, to be a stamp pad. I'm gonna take the stamp 
pick up some paint and then put it down grab and I'm going to rotate the stamp every so often and that'll give me a different design so it doesn't look like I'm using the same stamp over and over and over I know it's not just me I just bugs me I, d I what didn't have it and now it's doing it again so I don't know if there was an update to my software or what has happened that it started doing that so I'm hoping that Jason will be like oh well all you need to do is click here and it'll fix it <laughs> all right so all I'm doing is just stamping over that can you see that you like that we had beautiful weather here today. I was outside walking in my yard. Uh, earlier I was talking on the phone to Norella and I went outside and just kind of paced, if you will, while we talked on the phone. And it was beautiful out. Nice, beautiful weather. It's going to get warmer, though, I think. And then Saturday we're supposed to have some rain, which is good. It'll, the plants will grow. The flowers will grow. Is that neat looking? You like it? It's just a different way to make a mixed media page. Look at those rubber stamps that you have. Look at tools that may not be normally used, but are things that you have at home. It could even be, you know, some old packaging. It could be bubble wrap. You could use aluminum foil and dip it into the paint to get some neat textures. You know, kind of think outside the box whenever you're decorating and working with your pages. At least that's my hope, is that this inspires you to try some new things. Thank you so much, Norella. I am very close. I'm less than 50 people away from 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube, I'm going to have some amazing giveaways. One of those is going to be a Misty. I've got some Beacon uh, glue to give away as well. I've got some glue guns. I've got some uh, rubber stamps. I think Norella's going to let me have a couple of digital, uh, de uh, digital designs to do. The stamp that I'm using is the crackle stamp crackle so if you go to my website it is the crackle stamp the warm weather yeah I understand that you like the stamp thank you looks like a lightning strike oh my yeah join the raffle type exclamation point raffle we'll uh, pick the winner for 200 junk bucks and then I think I have, hey, Angelica, I think I have some chill prints I'm going to give away next. I know you don't like those. It is the crackle stamp. There's a set of four in there. Okay, I didn't get it perfectly clean, but it's good enough. The crackle stamp. Join the raffle. All right, so that is a page right there. Do you think you could use that in your junk journal? Is that a page you could use? You can even go a step further and stamp on top of it in black ink or a different color of ink. So thank you, Robin, for sharing the crackle stamp. You like that? Jill Prince, Angelica says. I don't know. I thought that would be kind of fun to play with. All right, we'll set that over here. I'm going to get another drink. Anybody have any questions? I'm drinking some iced coffee today. I needed some caffeine. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it kind of does look like a, a, a lightning strike. I agree. All right, so let's do this. I've got, um, this looks like a dictionary page. It's been torn, but I'm okay with that. I'm just going to decorate it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab what's left of the paints and kind of mix them together a little bit 
you know, this is a great way that you can use up. Maybe you've got some old paint in your stash and you, you just can't bring yourself to throw it away. But if you were to try to actually, you know, paint a, a portrait, say, it may not be the best, but you could do this with it, couldn't you? I'm just adding a little bit of color. This one's going to be a little bit thicker. I'm okay with that. Okay. Put a little bit. All right, so this time we're going to dry this, and I think we're going to use a stencil. Yeah, the blue looks like I, crack, ice cracking. Yeah, iced coffee every day, Arlene. Oh, hello, Arlene. I don't think I've seen your name. Hey, Marie. Love that crackle stamp. It's on your shopping list now, Sandra. <laughs> and remember, you know, you can still use your... Um, uh, coupon that you get for your junk bucks. Good morning, Bonnie. Glad to have you here. And remember that if you order $50 worth, you can get 10 off 50. That's the coupon code. The number 10 zero, OFF zero, and then the number 5 and the number 0. 10 off 50. I did not get my coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. I, I got it from uh, Cafe Israel. <laughs> Thank you, Janice, for your donation. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so this is a metallic paint, and it's still a little damp. So I'm going to try to dry it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. I'm going to go ahead... Let's see here. Let's grab a stencil this time. So I showed you how to use a rubber stamp. Okay. Nudge, nudge. Time for a raffle. Let's grab a stencil. What do I want to use? I don't know. I kind of like... I use this one a lot because it's one of my favorites. Okay, so I'm going to lay this on here for now. And then we're going to draw for the winning. Hey, Ta uh, Tanya, so glad to have you here. I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, hey, hey. You know I'm, you're saving up your junk bucks. <laughs> All right, join the raffle, and we're going to draw. While we're doing that, I'm going to look to see what color do I Oh, let's do purple. All right, so I'm just going to put some purple in here and get that ready. Y'all join the raffle. I'm giving y'all a couple seconds. We'll get me another sip of my coffee. Robin, I hope you are taking care and watching that. Thank you so much, Robin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Robin's a big help to me. So, everybody say how much you love Robin for her help. <laughs> All righty. All right, see you later, Mariana. Have a great day. Be safe out there running your errands. All right, let's do the giveaway. All right, let me get my notepad. I got to write down the date. Today is May the 16th. And this is the mixed media day. And this person's going to get 200 junk bucks. So uh, I'll add that to your total after the stream is over. And then you can use that when you get 2,000 to get a coupon. Pick winner, Valerie, Valerie, you won 200 junk bucks. Valerie Pruitt, congratulations. All right, so I'm going to set that aside. And I've got, I've got some gel prints here. These are orange, I guess, orangey. That one's a, a off-white with a yellow in it. This one has butterflies on it. What else we got here? This one has some, kind of like sunflower look. There it is again. So we've got some uh, gel prints here. So we'll set this over here out of the way. And let's reset. And we're going to do gel. Let's see. Orange, gel, orange, yellow. Let's say orange, yellow. All right. So I'm opening the giveaway up. So you guys and gals can raffle 
Okay, Terry, to get to the donators membership, go here on my website. I'm getting the link. So click there, create an account on my website. Then, after you've created it, send me a message through the second link and tell me your YouTube name and your email address that you used on my website and I'll get you added, okay? <clears throat> so thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I've got the boxed flowers stencil laying out here. I put some purple paint over here. I think I'm gonna add just a touch of white. And then I have one of these Tim Holtz daubers. Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. I have one of these little uh, Tim Holtz daubers dauber, with the sponge on it. And I think these work great for doing this mixed media stuff. So it's easier uh, to hold and they clean up pretty well. And even if they do get completely gunky, you can throw away the little pad part and get another pad. So I'm just going to take it over here and kind of daub it into the paint that's in the palette. So you're kind of getting a little... Um, marbled white and purple all right okay perfect if you have an account then I can get you added I can do that that's not a problem all right so then and remember if you are trying to get your discount or the freebies always log in to my site first and then navigate to the digital download or the product that you want to buy so you get your discount code so if you ever are on my website and you don't see your discount or that the items are free when they're a digital download, log in, and then you'll be able to get in and get those items. So I'm just pouncing it up and down, just going up and down on top of this stencil. Yes, the stencil is gonna get covered in paint. I have a cake pan over here to my side because I don't need to be eating cake, so I don't bake them. Um, and it's full of water over here to my right so that when I'm done applying the paint, I can just pop this stencil in there. It will keep that paint moist so that when I go to the sink, sink, I can rub it just a little bit and get that paint to come right off. Okay, I'm gonna kind of hold this down. Kind of do have to hold down the stencil. If you want, you could put some tape on the stencil i've even seen people take like a spray adhesive and lightly misted the back of their stencil so it would stay on their page um, don't put too much or it will stick to your page and tear it but those are some things you can do with a stencil as well okay so you all ready for the great reveal all right you ready all right so we're gonna peel that off that's really cool. It's got a marbledy effect to it. Do you like it? The junk jar has $22.38. Do you like that? So you're getting a little bit of the text behind. It may be hard for y'all to see it, but it's there. And then the teal and then the purple and the white that I used on the stencil. And that'll make a great... Uh, element or page for a junk journal. Don't you agree? All right, I'm going to set this over here to dry. Dry, paper, dry. This is another uh, book page. And since I still have a little bit of paint, I'm just kind of spreading it around. Oh, thank you, Terry, for your donation. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. I'm glad y'all like the lives. Um, I am working on getting some helpers so that I can do um, some more tutorial type videos that are shorter. I just don't have the time to edit them, so that's why I haven't done near as many. So I'm hoping that with this new helper that I'll be able to spend some time editing some uh, tutorials for y'all. Okay, I'm just going to use the dauber to kind of fill in. I don't know, it's just kind of interesting how it adds some texture. Okay, now I'm just playing. Just pouncing. And that's just it, y'all. Do you take the time to play, to experiment, to see how it all comes together? 
kind of like that. What do you think? Uh, you know, it's okay to play and, and make a mistake. It's all right to do that. Do you like that? Yeah, thank you, Miss Crafty Makes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just another way using the dauber to paint the page. All right, so I'm going to set this over here. Time to move this out of the way. I'm getting piles started, y'all. Yeah, I know. I'm with the same color scheme. I do that a lot. I get stuck on a color scheme for some reason. It's just fun. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you so very much. I'm glad you like that. I'm glad you like it. All right, I'm just kind of cleaning off some of my tools so that I can have it ready for the next page. What color do you want me to do next? You got a color preference that y'all like? Do you want me to play with? I know, is, is there a technique that you want to see as well? I do have a couple of gessoed postcards, oversized postcards, that I could get out and show y'all um, how the um, uh, gelatos work. Yeah, you know I love teal. It's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> Yeah, if y'all didn't know, that's the color of my car. It's kind of a, it's kind of close to this, but darker. Um, and if y'all haven't seen my water bottle, you know, it's got a teal to purple to it. Play with some yellow. I thought you liked anything purple, Sandra says. I thought you liked pink, Robin. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get some yellow out just for Robin. I'm going to grab some yellows. Uh, maybe even... Let's see. I've got an orange here. <clears throat> I don't know if I want those oranges. I use pink a lot too. Neon green just for Robin. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll do some yellow real quick because Robin got first. And then we'll do some purple, Sandra. How's that sound? All right. So I'm going to grab. This is another. Oh, I ripped it. That's okay. I got another dictionary type page that I'm going to use. Tur purple and teal is my my favorites. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yay, yellow. Uh, Norella's favorite color is yellow, if y'all didn't know that. All right, so this should be, it's almost dry. I've got a paper towel here. I'm just going to wipe the tray so that there's not a whole bunch of uh, paint there. I need a new one. It's starting to crack. <laughs> I only I have a whole box of these somewhere in my house. I just don't know where. <laughs> one of these days I'll find it. All right, so I'm going to take my palette again. I'm going to chew a couple of sh shades of yellow. Nore yellow for Norella. So I've got a yellow. I'm going to put just a touch of an orange. And I think I need... Where's my ivory? I have a little bit in this one. So let's do a little bit of ivory in here. So I'll kind of put it right there. So they kind of go together. It'll water down those colors if they're too bright. Um, and it'll be kind of cool. You love postcards? I'll have to show, I'll get the postcards out after I do. We're going to do this page. And we'll do purple, and then I'll get out the um, uh, gelatos, okay? You can't find one of those trays? Well, tell somebody that whenever they buy uh, some meat product to save you the tray, they can run it through the top rack of their dishwasher, um, and then you can spray it down with some uh, a watered-down Clorox if you're worried about bacteria from the meat and then you can use it so somebody save Christy a tray mine's about wore out if I if we don't buy meat from the grocery store anymore we get um, a side of beef or a side of pork from a couple of local um, farmers and so it all comes in a vacuum sealed packaging it doesn't have little trays 
What do you think of that? Can you see the orange and the yellow in there? Kind of cool. All right, so what do we want to do on top of this? Love your bright yellow sunflowers. Yeah, yeah. Not too bright. You like it bright? <laughs> probably in my closet. You're probably right, Robin. I should show y'all my closet someday. If I could get to it. <laughs> I need somebody to come stay with me for a week and clean this mess. <clears throat> okay, Terry says she uses cheap styrofoam plates from the Dollar Tree. So there's you an option, Christy. Get a styrofoam plate. I mean, especially, like me, I save it. I do it over and over again. It happens to fit. I have a little drawer right over here. In fact, I think I can pull it out. Let me see. See if we're going to have an avalanche. So I have a... Oh, thank you so much, Sonia, for your donation. I have a little um, drawer. It's a 12 by 12. It's actually bigger than that. Little drawer that I put some of my mixed media tools in. So it's really handy. It's right here. And that tray fits right in there. Yeah, get those styrofoam plates out. Okay, so what do we want to put on there? Um, you know, I've got, these are uh, clock faces. What do you think about clock faces? You want me to do that? And I may do it in black ink. I'm trying to decide if there's anything else I want to do. Let me look at my stamps really fast. Look at the stamps. Mm -hmm. What do I want to do? All right, so let's get out the postcard. And I don't know if I want that one. Do, do, do. I'm trying to think of texture to put on there. Oh, so Dollar General has the rectangle kind, Sonia says. For a dollar for 30 or more. Mm -hmm. well, let's see. If we do... We could do the um, honeycomb all over that. I'm just kind of grabbing a few things to see what we want to do. I just got them in my store. The clocks are now in my store. I just got them. I, in fact, I was up until 1 a.m. last night adding them to my shop. You're welcome. <laughs> and I got up at 6.45 this morning and went to the gym. All right, so do I want to do black or do I want to do vintage photo? Let's see what it looks like if I do it on the back side real fast. So this is walnut stain. Do I want that? That might be dark enough over the yellow. Let's just do that. So I'm just going to ink this up with walnut stain. And I'm going to stamp it all over this. So this would be perfect for, you know, that B collage that you're working on. kind of give it another texture if you will and so you could use this as a page that you want to write on or add other elements or you could uh, cut it up and make elements out of that what do you think of that bird talk stamp what, what which one is the bird talk stamp I don't know what that one is <laughs> Use the bird talk. Okay, now I gotta look to see which one that is. Cause I'm like, which one is that? Is that the two little birdies? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 okay. As I just put it in my shop last night. So I'm like, the bird? And the new gear stamp, you like that one too? Okay, here's the bird talk. And I just put these in my notebooks last this morning. And I've got more pages coming. Let's see here. Where are the gears? There's the gears. Okay. So we'll do that on another page. What a bright, cheery color. You like it? Yeah, see, a clock face would be perfect for a, a Alice journal, for sure. Do you like that? 
with the B design. So here's what you could do. I'm just going to, I'm not going to glue it, but this is another one of the beeline designs. You could put that on there and you have a quick tuck spot right there. You could use the um, calico collage. I haven't cut them up yet. I need to. That's my next sleepless night I'll come in here and cut up stuff you could take some of the domino elements and paste those on the page as well so think think about cool things how am I storing those stamps so I have <clears throat> notebooks okay and then these are from crafters companions and the, since they are clean they just stick right on top and I just have them in this journal or notebook. Uh, when I get my next set of pages, I'm going to rearrange and try to put them by theme. You know, if it's birds or if it's uh, nautical or if it's sewing, whatever it is. <laughs> this bird talk is in Robin's mind. Yeah, she wants that, doesn't she? <laughs> Ooh, you found some wonderful thick coloring book pages for the Wonderland. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, I could use the Summer Blossom. You know what? Let's do that one next. Okay, so let's grab another page here. Well, let's just do a little one. We don't have to have a full uh, eight and a half by 11 page. Because remember, you could scan this page in. So you decorated it once. And you can print it and use it over and over and over. That's what I love about art that I create myself. So that's a little bit different shade of yellow. You love the yellow page? Thank you, Janice. You've been shopping, Robin? <laughs> oh, I've created a monster. <laughs> Yeah, you can, yes, Bonnie, Aline's tack it over and over. You can use that. I've also used the best glue ever. I did that on, I think it's this notebook. I've got to get my ends of the notebook labeled. So these are all text stamps. So I'll show you all what this looks like. So it's the text. Where's my block? And so I put Aline, or the best glue ever you just put a small amount can you kind of see where I use a paintbrush and that'll stick to the block and I've got some paper here so I'm just gonna grab some and I've got my stamp pads I got black ink so these are all um, what they call finger prints they're really small words and they're designed that if you wanted you could cut them apart and then just use your fingers to stamp so I'm just gonna stamp it the whole thing at one time okay and then you can go in here and then just cut those apart and use those on your pages yep my fault <laughs> so I thought I would show that as well you know use that tack it over again use that um, um, Aline's tacky glue or the uh, What's the other one? The uh, best glue ever. Okay, where's my flowers? Okay, it's in the other one. I haven't got used to these yet. I'm getting more and more stamps. So I'm trying to remember where I put them all. Okay, I think that's the one. Is that it? And I think what I'm going to do, let's just stamp it in black ink. Okay, so I just got the rubber stamp. I did this page. I'm going to use the stamp ink pad, and we're just going to stamp it. I'm okay if it doesn't come out perfect. You like it? Does that make you happy? I know you wanted me to use the bird. We'll use the gears next. I got a little bit more yellow left. You like that? What do you think? 
I need a bigger book soon. Yes, I need several books. <laughs> I need several books. All right, so we did that one. Let's do another one. This time we'll use the bird talk, but we won't stamp it all over. I don't use the tack it over and over, but I use the best glue ever by Scrap Perfect. I have used the tack it over and over again. Best glue ever. I have a link and I get a um, I get a 10% commission if you use my link. So if you want that, just message me. I'll share it. Or if you go to my website and type in best glue ever, then when you click on that link to that product, it'll take you to the affiliate link that I use with Scrap Perfect. I kind of like this yellow. Okay, so I'm going to dry it. All right, how are we doing on time? Is it time for me to do another drawing to give away the gel prints? Has it been long enough? I don't know. You love the sunflower? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, uh, Sonia and Robin. Oh, we got the boss fight. You want the sunflower stamp too? <laughs> I just added that one to my shop last night. Okay, Angelica. Uh-oh, I hope they're okay. All right, so now I've got the little birdie. And... It, they kind of have a branch there, so let's see what we can do. Let's kind of put them up high, don't you think? Or should I do it this way so that if we wanted, we could paste it onto a page directly, okay? All right. How are we doing on the uh, donations? I think... We have $28.38 towards the 50 bucks to raffle off the journal today. All right, so I'm inking up Bird Talk, and I'm just going to stamp that right at the, well, I'll put it right in the center. Let's put it right in the center. Like that. Oh, that's super cute. Isn't that cute? Oh, my goodness, it's so stinking cute. <laughs> I love it. So there, there's a page that we made that you obscured the text behind that if you paste this into your journal, you can write on top of that. Do you like it? It's super cute. Love the parakeets. My mom used to have parakeets when we were growing up. We even raised them. We had an aviary and raised them. They were a lot of fun. What is the surface in the book? Those are from Crafter's Companion. They are, um, I don't know if I have the pages. Let me see if I can find them in my orders. And I'll send y'all a link to them. <clears throat> okay, here they are. So if I do this, they're called Crafter's Companion Easy, excuse me, Easy Mount. And I'll get my uh, Amazon affiliate link. And even if you don't buy those, if you go to Amazon and you find something else you like and you used my link to get there, I get a little bit of a commission, and I appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything to um, use that link. Just go ahead and use it. So here is the pages that I'm using. Like that? All right, so let's do another. I have the gears here. And I have a little bit of yellow paint left. So we're going to finish this yellow paint. And then we're going to move on to purple. Okay. We'll do some gears. I'm almost out of yellow paint. Come on. I don't need much more. I'll just put a drop down here. All right. Budgies. Budgies are little birds, aren't they? Aren't budgies little... Um, um, are they a, they're not a finch. Oh, I'm trying to remember what kind of bird those are. Okay, I just put a little yellow on top of that. Ooh, look at it. Look at it, it's bright yellow, y'all. All right, I'm going to clean off my scraping tool. 
parakeets. Okay, so they are parakeet. I wasn't sure if they were parakeets. Sometimes they do stick on page protectors. Um, they, I have issues with page protectors that kind of work. Um, you just got to make sure that you get a quality brand of one because it can mess up the adhesive. But you can always um, add more of the tacket over and over or the best glue ever to the backs of them if your um, clean doesn't work anymore. You also want to put something stiff in the page protector or the page will just be really floppy. That. Hello, you like that yellow? <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Terry. Oh, good. That's smart, T. Lily. So she stamps on uh, white cardstock and puts it in the sleeve, and she stored hers in there. I've got a few that I've used the page protectors. Not very many, though. It depends on the brand of stamps, too. All right, so I'm just kind of re-curling this back. All right, so you wanted me to use the gear stamp. That's a new stamp that I just put in my shop last night. We're, I'm gearing up get it pun uh, for the uh, steampunk yeah I'll have to I'll have to try it again <laughs> all right so let's do the gears I'm gonna kind of do it off the page so now we have a page that we could paste into a journal that has a little bit of texture on it. You like that? Kind of cool? Alrighty, so now let's switch to purple, right? Oh, I just saw that there's paint on my stamp, so I'm just gonna dip some water on it and clean it off. Alrighty, so let's put this over here. I'm getting a pile over here to the side. Okay, yeah, perfect. An empty scrapbook that has those page protectors and it would be also a good tool to use. Thank you, Robin. All right, so I'm going to throw the yellow back over here. We wanted some purple. So there's a dark purple. Here's, is that the same shade? Yeah, it is. Let's try that. And this one's a different shade. Okay, so I got three shades of purple here. I'm going to wipe out my tray again. Acetate I had problems with. Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. You're so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to take some purple paint. And we're going to put that on here. So I got a dark purple, a little bit lighter shade of purple. And then I have one more shade of purple. Yes, I do have the coffee cup. You want me to get that one out? <laughs> I just have it right here. There's the teacup or coffee cup. I haven't even opened it yet. And I have the beautiful lady stamps. Okay, I've got the coffee cup out, so we'll use that one in a moment. Put right over here. Woo, I'm getting hot. It's getting hot in here. All right. So, let's do this. I think this would be look kind of neat. I'm going to put a little bit of white. Oh, thank you, T. Lily. I'm glad you're here. And, and yes, I, I appreciate y'all's help. You know, keeping me streaming, if you will. I know that not everybody can donate. And I appreciate you being here. I'm trying to offer, you know, other freebies for everybody. And I just really appreciate it. And remember, you know, you can join my Facebook group. Um, and then you can share your projects. If you were inspired because of something that I did, you know, let me know. I'd love to see what you create. I've got a couple of people that tag me, and I love seeing what everybody comes up with. Look at that purple. 
Isn't that pretty? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dry this. I wanna use a stencil over it. Let's see what stencil I wanna use. Stencils, where are you? Stencil, stencil. Okay, let's use this one. Yep, yep. All right. Okay, so that's drying. So I'm going to set this aside for just a second. And here's what I do. I'm going to grab a piece of paper. Okay, I got a thin piece of paper here. And we're going to make a mask. So I'm going to put the teacup onto this piece of paper here. And if I wanted to, I could stamp it on another piece. But I may do that. Oh, thank you, Miss Crafty Makes. Thank you so much for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm just going to stamp this, and then we're going to fussy cut it out, and we're going to use it as a mask, okay? But before I cut it out, I'm going to put just a little bit of the best glue ever on the back side and smear it around with my finger, and that's going to make this sticky like it's a sticky note. If you have large sticky notes, you could just stamp on the sticky note. You fell in love with that? <laughs> well, that's awesome. I'm glad you haven't had a problem. That's awesome. Back, you needed chocolate so the dogs are okay, I hope. All right, so now I'm just going to fussy cut this out really fast. This is live, y'all. So I'm just going in here. I'm using the Fiskars Easy or Touch, I think, or Micro Touch scissors. I don't know. I like them. They don't hurt my hands. I can get in here pretty quick and cut something out. All righty. Almost done. Almost done. Come on. Come on. All right. Go up here. It may not matter on this one, but you could go in here and cut out where that part is if you wanted to see it. But I think it's small enough that it's not going to make a big deal of a difference. So I'm going to take this back again. All right. We're going to get the teacup stamp, and we're going to act, uh, ink it up. Ink it! And then I'm going to stamp it down here in this corner. Okay. And then I'm going to take my new sticky mask and lay it over the top. And I've got my um, retro panel two stencil here and I'm gonna grab my dauber and let's do let's do just a little bit of an ivory on here so I'm gonna take some ivory and put it in come on I'm almost out ah! oh thank you Linda for your donation all right so I've got some white paint in here so here's what I do I'm just gonna grab some white and I'm just going to pounce it. So it's kind of going to give this a neat, I think, a, in theory, a kind of a textured vintage look, I hope. Okay, I'm going to clean out my dauber. I'm going to do one more thing since I've got it masked. I'm going to grab another stamp to go over that. So I think it's in this one. Yes. So I'm getting the, I think it's the damask uh, background. Oh, that's not my big enough. Got to get the other block. I'm gonna have a big mess when I get done here, y'all. <laughs> All right, so I've got the damask, and I'm looking at it, make sure I've got it right side up. And I'm just gonna stamp this over the top with the stencil down. Okay? I may have to stand up. I think I am. Okay. 
I'm going to stand up and do this. Okay. Oh, it's not quite getting there. Kind of, but not, not what I expected. But it's a little bit. I'll kind of keep the, my from shifting. I'm just kind of inking the corner of it and stamping it. There we go. All right. So that kind of gives a different texture. And then here's our teacup. Can y'all see that? What do you think of that? It, it, these scissors are awesome, Terry. I love them. They don't hurt my hands. They are spring loaded. You, you know, some people don't like them because they are spring loaded and you have to remember to close them so you don't stab yourself. But I love these scissors. I've been using them for a long, long time. You love the cup? Is that cool? How's that look? Kind of gives a look like we have wallpaper in the background. Is that kind of neat? You could also stamp this on another piece of paper and fussy cut it out and paste it on top. You could go in here and uh, maybe use a, a paintbrush to help kind of define it just a little bit. You could also um, mask then reverse so where the opening is here and then stamp on top of the cup to get a pattern. Yeah, stamp through the stencil. Stamp through the stencil. All right, let's do... All right, there was a couple other stamps y'all wanted to see. What else? What else? What else? All right, is it time to do the raffle for the gel prints, right? So if y'all haven't already, make sure that you enter the raffle. And I'm going to go ahead and get another page ready. Pages. All righty. Oh, thank you, Norella, for your donation. You're so sweet. You don't have to do that. <laughs> I mean, you're my friend, you know. <laughs> you like that? Thank you, Susan, for speaking up. Thank you for being here and for watching. I understand not everybody, you know, is into chatting. But, you know, let us know where you're from, what you're loving. Um, time for gel print drawing. Okay, make sure you enter the raffle. Even if you're lurking, just type exclamation point raffle. I'm going to let this dry for a second. I'm going to pick out a stencil, and then we will draw for the next raffle. I think I'm going to use the daydreaming stencil. I love it. I love the pattern that it creates. And let's see. What do we want? I've got this lady. Maybe we'll stamp her. Although, it's it's not, uh, no, let's do something else. I want some more t pattern on the background. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Okay, I'm going to do this one again. We're going to do this stencil first. No, because that'll be too busy. I think I'm just going to do the stencil. So, dry it almost. You know, Valerie, I tell you what. A stamp platform, stamp uh, tool like the Misty can help you with that because you can put it in here, you can put the magnets on it to hold it in place, and then you can ink your stamp and go over it several times until it is perfect the way you want. So a stamping tool like the Misty is perfect. Yes, use a mouse pad. That helps. You could use, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, craft foam. So this is craft foam. And you could put that underneath your surface and it'll be softer and give you a good impression. The other thing is that you want to ink it up and you want to press it down and hold it for a moment. So the ink will transfer to your page and then pick it up. <coughs> All right. Let's pick the winner for the raffle. 
giveaway. Where's my notepad? Okay. This is for gel prints. Oh, thank you, Bar uh, Barbara, right? Daily Gotcha Wolf. Her granddaughter changed her name. <laughs> All right, so the winner of the gel print. Thank you, thank you for your donation. Watching the dancing sheep, the dancing sheep. <laughs> All right, the winner, Kathy Lake. You're the winner of the gel prints. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here's what I'm going to do. This is a... Uh, page I made. I have a tutorial that shows you how to make it, and I believe it was using um, some junk mail that I covered with book pages and paint and Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. So that'll be our next drawing, which will be the uh, Rose JJ page. Okay? And so we'll do that. Reset. And we'll say... Rose JJ page, and we'll do that as the next giveaway, y'all. Okay, put that up there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the daydreaming stencil on top. I'm going to get my dauber and I'm going to use this white or ivory paint that I have over here. I'm just kind of pouncing it, loading up the sponge. And then we're just going to go right over that. Go fast. Go fast. See how fast you can go. So how many of y'all have tried using this Tim Holtz dauber to apply paint? Have y'all tried it yet? Do you like it? It sure helps my hand. My hand doesn't hurt so bad. I used to use um, peg brushes. And I like this so much better. I like the shape of the handle. Okay, so I did that. I'm going to clean my sponge a little bit. Congratulations! Um, the stamping thing that I use is called a Misty. M-I-S-T-Y, I think is how it's spelt. Let me find it on my uh, web page. M-I-S-T-I. It's M-I-S-T-I. And I have a, a link where you can get it off of Amazon. Did I use it on that one? I'm trying to find the uh, where I used it. A link. Misty. Okay, open in new tab. Click here. Copy that. This link is really long. But here it's expensive, but it is well worth it. Okay? You love the dauber? That's the Misty. Okay, so I've got that on there. I'm going to go ahead and I've got some Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Mist here. And I now sell the Dazzling Diamonds in my shop. And I'm going to spray this so that there's going to be shimmer that went through the stencil. Lift that off. It got a little messy in a couple of spots, but I like it. I like that look. Um, I like that it's, you know, my own. You haven't tried it with the paint yet? Oh, Well, I'm glad you, you moved to the small garden shed with blanket and pillow. You taking care of the doggy? You love the dauber? All right, Norella, see you later. You like it, Giovanna, using the dauber? Join the free raffle. Thank you for the update on the uh, junk jar. We're at, we're 23 cents short. <laughs> you have the Tim Holtz platform. Well, see, that one's been discontinued because he got into a, a there's a lawsuit that happened with that. Do you like that? I think that's kind of cool. It's a cool page. I'm not going to stamp over it. I like it the way it is. It kind of reminds me of vintage wallpaper. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. I like that. All right, so I've got a little bit more purple paint. So let's get a bigger page. 
bigger page. <clears throat> I like to do my pages in landscape mode when they're big because I, that's how I would probably use them in my journal. So I'm just adding some more paint. Add the paint to the page. Okay. All right, let's uh, dry it. Oh, you got a gel printing plant for Mother's Day? That's awesome, Phyllis. Yay! Oh, yeah, using the dauber gets out your ingressions. For sure. Hey, Angelica, we're still here. Oh. So we sleep in the garden shed until Sunday. She likes that. Well, I'm glad you can do that. <laughs> You like the, stamp, the Hampton Arts one? Yeah, there was a lot of cool ones out there, and there were good prices on them, but they were also just, some of them were a little too good to be true, and then I guess uh, Misty won the class action lawsuit against them, and they had to pull them. Well, not class action, just a lawsuit, I guess, for copyright infringement. I mean, that's, that's uh, you know, big things, you know. You don't want to be caught up in copyright. All right, so what do we want to use on this page? Oh, let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to, I've got this uh, postscript collage. I'm going to put that on here. And then we've got white paint in here, but I really want this metallic pearl paint. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some of that down here. And where is my other card? I know I have more of them. I need more gift cards, y'all. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to spread out this paint. Just a little bit. Oh, thank you, Jenny, for your donation. I think we're there now for the journal that I'm giving away today. All right, so now I've got this metallic paint in here. I'm, my space is shrinking, y'all. It's shrinking. It's shrinking. All right, so I'm going to take the postcard collage. Postscript collage. I got a little bit too much thick paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a scrap of paper. My tray isn't uh, quite big enough, but I think I can make it work. Maybe that's what I should do is stamp it off once before I put it on the page. And then you won't get this globby look to it. So I'm going to stamp it off onto my little scrap of paper here. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. So another way to make a page... Just using your mixed media tools. You like that? Is that something you can do? All right, so I'm gonna clean my stamp off. We've reached the junk journal amount for the journal raffle, yay! You have the Tim Holtz platform. You like the Stampin' Up one? Yay, Hunger Games, Angelica says. All right, so I'm just cleaning off my stamp. I got a little bit carried away with the paint. In fact, I may just lay it in my uh, water and let that soak for a little bit so it'll clean out later. I can take a soft brush, like a toothbrush, and, scrub, and uh, scrub it. You like that, Paige? <clears throat> Do y'all like that I'm just showing you ideas of how to make your pages 
or do you need more um, tutorials where I show how to use the pages? I'm trying to do a little bit of everything, you know. I think that one's really cool. We've used the stencils. We've used stamps. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Hey, hey. I forgot to drop off the napkins at the shop. I'm sorry. They're in my car. You like that? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can do. Can do. Elegant page. Yes, Miss Crafty makes. I think so, too. That might be one that can scan in and be fun to kind of use it over again. It's got some neat look to it. <laughs> Junkie Joe gets mad at you. Don't be using links, you know. <laughs> I still have purple paint left. So I'm going to try to use up this purple paint. And we'll move on. Oh, I, I dropped some on the page. Purple paint. Y'all wanted purple. Okay, what was the next color y'all wanted? Or do we want to do the uh, gelatos next? I've got two post oversized postcards that I could do the gelatos on. Okay, I'm going to clean off my stuff. Hey, Tammy! Hey, hey! Oh, no! And yours messes up, uh, 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 Arlene. I understand that. I think the platform is really helpful. You're a shame, Kathy. You should be. Shame on you. Shame for shame. <laughs> uh, thank you, Janice, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're going to dry this. And let's, um, let's see. Let's pick a stencil this time. Let's see what I've got here. Stencil wise. Gelatos. Okay, we'll do the gelatos next. After I do this page. Woo! I haven't used this one mixed media wise. Let's get this one out. Let's see how we can make that look. That's the butterfly stencil. This is the on um, the way the old way I used to make it. Now it'll be laser cut so this is the old style but it'll still work so i'm just going to line it up on the page there i'm going to grab my dauber i'm going to go ahead and just kind of clean off the paint that was on my little card i'm going to stuff pop that into my water over here and then we're just going to daub daub it kind of use up use up this paint You'll put yourself in the corner. <laughs> At my shop. Oh, wow, Tammy. So you went by the shop. Well, thank you. Thank you. I wish you would have told me I could have met with you. Of course, if it was during the live stream, I understand. Thank you. Thank you. Did Henry pay you? I know you, were, you had some stuff for me. So let me know. Um, or if you would rather have some stencils or something else, let me know. So that I can get you paid. I don't want to ever be one of those that don't pay my debts. Tammy did some. I had a request. And so she did some shopping for me. Because she loves to go to thrift stores. And estate sales. And garage sales. And I don't have time for that. <laughs> I don't got time for that nonsense. So I was so, so blessed that. She went out and found what I was needing. And she found it like the, like the next day that I asked her. So it was awesome. Okay, we'll do the drawing. <laughs> Are you ready for the big reveal? I think I'm going to put some dazzling diamonds on this too. I know I used some of that metallic white paint but i think it would look kind of good with a little bit of shimmer from the tattered angels too you like the pink shimmer to that well that's the stencil <laughs> that it had other paint on it <laughs> it won't be on the page all right let's get some tattered angels i could put a pink 
on it. Let me see what I got here. As I drop things in the floor. I don't know if I like that pink. Let's see what pinks we got. Although I put a bunch of glimmer mist in my shop, I don't have that many <laughs> on my shelf anymore. I think we'll do this one. Okay, we're going to mix these. We're going to do a couple of spritzes of the Dazzling Diamonds. And then, since she said pink, we'll put a little bit of this. I think it's vintage pink. It may be silk. It didn't have a label on it. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Do you like that? Oh, no. You just glued your journal crows. Oh, no. <gasps> Work fast and pull it apart. All right. Do you remember yesterday when I told you Jason could co-brand these? I'll have to find out what you're talking about <laughs> later. All right, so I'm just drying this just a little bit so I can set it aside. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. You like that? So it's got a little bit of a pink. It's got some shimmer to it. And that's the butterfly stencil that I have in my shop. It fits on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. I like it. Thank you, Christy. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Angelica. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Well, let's set this aside. We may make that a digital download. What do you think? You think that's worthy? Maybe we'll do that with these. We'll do it with that one, that one, and this one, and that one. What do you think? Make little four digital downloads. That'll be the freebie for y'all that donated. And that everybody else can buy it for $1.25 or $2.50. I don't remember which category that is. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm putting some lotion on my hands. The arena is some end games that you join by either typing, depending on what time it is, uh, exclamation point FFA or exclamation point BOSS. -S. And it costs you 10 junk bucks, but you could win a bunch of junk bucks just for playing along. All right, so this is a postcard that I just put some gesso on, so it has some texture. So I'm going to grab some gelatos. I've got the iridescence here. I couldn't find the pastels yet. Um, okay, yes, you like that? Okay, we'll do, we'll do. I'll put those in my shop. Those will be a digital download. I couldn't find the pastel set on sale. They were already sold out, and I went to two different Hobby Lobbies, and I was like, okay, I'm not doing this. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to use as dark a color this time. I've got... Let's do these colors. So I've got a pink, a teal, and this is kind of a neon-y green. This is called Starburst, and we're using Blue Moon, and what's the other one? I can't read that. I don't know what that is. I can't see it. Y'all probably can't see it either. <laughs> All right. So gelatos are water soluble, so they need some water to move around. You could scribble this out onto a palette and use a paintbrush. You could put it direct and then use a paintbrush. I'm going to put it direct, so I'm going to go in here and kind of add some color blocks in a couple of places. Let's do it up here, maybe a line down there. So I'm just adding a few little color blocks here and there. And I'm going to fill in a couple of places. Kind of put some over here. And then let's fill in with uh, this green yellow. So 
So it'll kind of give a different texture. Okay. And now I'm going to get a... Oh, thank you, Kathy, for your donation. I'm just dipping my uh, paintbrush into some water. Um, this is what I do if y'all don't have ever tried this. I don't like water getting spilt all over my desk. And I found if I put a candle holder and type of a larger glass and there's water in both, that when I want clean water, I go in the middle. When I want to clean my brush, I go on the outside. And then I can go back in the middle to clean it again if I need to. And it helps keep my water from getting, being contaminated. So there's the tip of the day. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad y'all like the idea. You've never used them. Neon green for Robin. All right, so I'm just going to go first over the neon green because I know it's a lighter color and it's not going to play nice always with the other colors. And I'm just smudging it around in here. This is interesting how this product works. It may not be my go-to product. It was on sale. I thought I would try it. It's another form of watercolors. It takes a little bit to play with, but I think it's kind of interesting. All right, so I just kind of smudged out that yellow. So I'm cleaning off my brush. And I'll get some clean water. And then let's do, let's do this blue. And you can use it uh, through stencils. You can mop up off of it if you want I like how it's just kind of blends it blends together really well all right I'm gonna clean my brush you're very welcome tip of the day do I keep copyright on this tip <laughs> Yes, if you if you use that tip, you need to credit me, okay? You need to tell everybody that Linda had this idea. You use a candle holder inside of a larger glass to help keep your paintbrush water cleaner. Oh, this is kind of interesting, y'all. What do you think of that? And because this is an iridescent, it's going to have kind of an iridescent color uh, or shimmer to it. So now I'm just kind of blending those together. It's interesting, to say the least. Just kind of painting that over. All right, so I'm going to let that dry for a moment. Clean off my brush. I am using Gelato's Tea Lily. I took some Gelato's on a postcard that had been coated with some... Uh, gesso and I scribbled it on and then I used a paintbrush with water and blended each color just a little bit all over. I'm going to dry it and I think I'm going to stamp over the top of this. Okay, so let's do this while that's drying. I'm going to try to find the stamp that I want to use while I'm drying that. <coughs> Alrighty, so has everybody entered the raffle? Alright, where'd it go? Alright, now. That's not it. Uh. I'm missing a stamp. Oh, there it is. I found it! Found it! You love your gelatos? Um, if you plan to put something over these that might get wet, then you need to seal them because they will continue to move. Uh, you can't just put the gelatos down without blending them with water or they'll be this cakey stuff and they'll transfer. Yeah, I understand, you know, I, I, it's one of those things that you have to kind of make yourself get them out and play with them. This is interesting. It's got a different look to it. I think this would be good for some uh, little embellishments 
to put on pages. You can make this background. I like where that green came in there. All right, so I've got the postcard collage. So let's ink this bad boy up. And I think, oh yeah, it might go actually from top to bottom there. All right, I'm running out of space again. <laughs> All right, are we ready to draw the winner of the next raffle? which is for the rose gel print page. All right, I'm going to stamp this. So enter the raffle. You've used them once. All right. It's real light, but it's on there. Since I kind of dropped it, I'm going to rotate the stamp and go in a different direction. So it changes up the pattern. You don't get that same repeat pattern over it. I'm going to rotate it. Rotate it! And stamp. What do you think of that? Kind of add some texture. Yeah, you could put it back. Exactly. You could cut it up. Make little mosaics out of it. I have giant rubber stamps. Exactly. Time to draw. Sure. Love it. Yeah, it'd be different. <laughs> yeah, I can see cutting it up and putting it back together differently. But see how a postcard that was covered with gesso, put the gelatos on it, rubber stamped over it, and there for a while I thought I was going to still see the print underneath. But it covered it up really well. And now it has a really, now that it's dried, it has an iridescent sheen to it. You like it? Twin cheese! Yeah, well, let's cut it, we'll cut it up. Let's, we'll do that next. We'll make something out of that. How's that? And we're going to draw. Yeah, you have to have a coated paper or gesso for the, ges the uh, gelatos to work. I, I, wa I don't watch a lot of tutorials, but I did watch tutorials that kept saying that, so I knew. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all enter the raffle, and I'm going to clean this up really fast, and then we're going to make something with this little piece that I made here. Put this up. Yeah, it's like a melted crayon. Yeah, without get gesso. You love it? Yeah, once down, it don't move. But on glass, you know, I don't, the same thing, but on glass, you know, I've seen those techniques. I've done it with different things, but yeah, the, that's some old techniques. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Um, so, y'all, um... In the chat, if you have a YouTube, oh, thank you, Pam, for your donation. Thank you very much. Um, if you have a YouTube, say, hey, I have a YouTube, and follow each other, okay? And I'm going to be right back. I have to go to the little girl's room, as they say. Yeah, you have to have coated paper, T. Lily, for it to work. Thank you, Pam, so much for your donation. Okay, I'll be right back, So I'm going to put the Be Right Back screen on. Y'all enter the raffle.
And they go give me an allergy pill too. I can feel my throat tickling. All right, what'd I miss? <laughs> oh. YouTube's how you got this silly name. <laughs> you have a YouTube Miss Crafty Makes? Hello to you. Yeah, write out your uh, your YouTube names if they are different. And uh, tell what you do on your YouTubes. All right, so let's see. Should we cut these into squares, little squares, and embellish them? I've got a few rubber stamped images that I made. So we can uh, make some neat little embellishments of some kind. There's a butterfly. There's a pencil. <clears throat> I'm not digging through here to see. Oh, I've got some of these roses left that I've made. And here's some the round little flowers. So we'll make a few little embellishments. I see some more little stamped images. A little fat birdie. Man, I've got some of these hearts. So I'm just grabbing a few things. Are we ready to draw the raffle? And then we'll start the raffle for the um, for the journal. How's that sound? Are we ready to start that? Are y'all ready? Ooh, I like that birdie. Okay. So I'm going to cut this up. All right, drew the raffle. Twinchies are cute. Okay, we'll do some twinchies and some other shapes. All right, thank you all for being here. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your support, your thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, if y'all are lurking, or if you're watching this replay. Do subscribe, you know, and try to come anytime you can to my live streams. And, of course, check out my Facebook groups, um, my Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, all of those things. All right, we're going to do the giveaway. So we're going to pick a winner. These are going to get the Rose Junk Journal page. So this is the page that y'all are going to win, whoever is the winner. Okay. So we'll do pick a winner. Hey, Tammy, you won. Tammy, my world in OKC. Congratulations, Tammy. I've got your address. <laughs> So we're going to reset this. Um, and now what we're going to do is I'm going to read off all those that have donated. And these people are eligible to enter the raffle for the journal. And if you want to have a chance to win the journal, just make a donation of any dollar amount, any whatsoever. And remember that your donation also grants you free digital downloads from my shop that say zero. You get to have any and all of those that say zero. And you also get 5% off of my shop. And also remember that I have a coupon code that's 1010OFF50, 10 off 50. So those is available right now. So these people have donated to the stream today. Deborah Vick, Christy Johnson, Sherry Deskins, Robin Finnessy, Debbie, Carrie Ann, Janice Brammer, Christy again, thank you again, uh, Terry, uh, Sonia or, or S. Logan413, Christy again, Christy again, thank you, thank you, Christy, Miss Crafty, Crafty Makes, Linda Gray, and Barbara, hey Barbara, uh, Norella, Daily Gotcha Wolf, uh, Jenny, Lynn Wheeler, Janice Brimmer, again, thank you so much, Kathy Lake, and Pam Emmons. So we're going to start the uh, next one. Oh, thank you, Robin, for sharing that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're going to go to the giveaway. And this is for the um, Wings Junk journal if you need to see it again let me know and i'll get it down here in just a moment so that's for the junk journal that i made a while back but we're going to donate it today or, or raffle it today for your donations all right so i'm going to go in here first i want to see how wide this actually is so it's six inches so we should be able to get three two inch squares right is that math <laughs> there's one 
and here is another okay and then I'm gonna cut let's cut a two and a half inch strip and that'll be a tag that'll be a tag and let me get my tag punch let's see what else we want to do let's make a let's make another two and a half inch no, let's make it three inches because it's six inches wide so I can make two three inch squares. Okay. And then we have this little piece left and let's just cut that in half and it could be a tuck spot maybe. Let's see, what is that? Three and a half inches. Half of three and a half is one and three quarters. Is that right? Yeah. And that'll be a strip. And that could be on the bottom of a page, maybe for a tuck spot, some kind of little embellishment. Now's the time for the journal giveaway. If you donated, I'm going to move this page so we don't have all that competition of color underneath there. Alrighty. So I've got all these pieces. So we're going to spend the remainder of our time decorating these pieces okay does that sound fair all right so this is the paper studios tag punch and that's why i cut this to be two and a half inches wide because that's the widest that it will accept and i think before i do that i'm going to paste another piece of paper on the back side of that just so that we can use both sides so i'm just going to grab a piece of text weight paper i think yeah, it's not too bad. So we'll just paste this straight down. All right, so I'm just going to go in here and add glue to the back side. You could, if you wanted, uh, coat both sides of your postcard with gesso or white acrylic paint. I don't really like white writing on top of gesso because of the tooth. There are brands that don't have as much texture that you can use. Or you can just use white acrylic paint. So I'm just trying to line this up. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to use my bone folder to press this. And it will help mush out that glue and adhere these two together. Okay. And then let's trim this one out. Oh, thank you, Sandra, for your donation. And make sure you enter the raffle for the journal. I love the way this kind of has a rainbow effect here in this corner. Isn't that kind of cool? Thank you, thank you, thank you for your donation. All right, I'll set that over there. I love it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim this with the punch. Okay, Robin, that's okay. You be safe. You be safe with the weather up there, all right? You let me know how things are going. Thank you for being here and helping. I appreciate it. All righty. So I'm going to go in. And I'll, uh, I'll, you already, did you get in the uh, raffle before you left, Robin? Because I have your address, so if you win, it's, you don't have to say, I'm here, I'm here. I'm just going around the edges with Distress Ink. You like that? Isn't that kind of cool? And honestly, that could be just the, you could, that be it. You'll be done. You don't have to do anything else if you don't want to. Isn't that a cool punch? It's Paper Studios. Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> Alrighty, so... Let's see here. I don't want to cover up this rainbow. I think what I'm going to do is put a little butterfly at this top up there. And then let's look at the words. Oh, here we go. I have one that says uh, beautiful. So we'll just cut that one out. So I'm just going to take my scissors. I, that's what I like about these little fingerprint stamps. I could stamp a whole set of them and take them with me if I'm going to... An event or something I don't want to take all my stamps but if you uh, stamp a bunch of them out beforehand then all you have to do is just cut them up 
as you need them. And yeah, it's not straight. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just going to add some Distress Ink to the edges. And I think that's what we'll do. We'll just kind of put that on there. I like my um, journal cards and that kind of stuff relatively flat. And I have here... Oh, good. I have a little bit of room. Oh, thank you, Polly, for your donation. Thank you so much. That's okay. I'm glad you're here. Hey, Polly. All right, so I'm going to glue down this little butterfly. Make sure you enter the raffle, Polly, since you donated. So you can get in on the journal that I made. And then let's put this right here. So that, you know, is pretty simple to make. You could go around this with a black uh, pen and really define around it if that's what you like to do. Or you can leave it like it is. I'm just going to take this little scrap of fabric that I tore and tie it off at the top for this little tag. You like that? What do you think? Kind of has this rainbow effect. And that's what's using the gelatos. Uh-oh, if, if you just got it, Terry, take it back. Take it back to the store if it leaves a ragged edge. All, and you might try punching through some wax paper, but if it's leaving a jagged edge, it's off. Something's not right in the mechanism. You like that? All right, so now we've got these three little twinchies, two-inch pieces. We've got some three-inch ones here. So let's add some Distress Ink to the, all three of those, and let's contemplate what we're going to put on there. Uh, Julie, I did make this page today. It is, a, and it'll be in the replay so you can watch it again. It is a postcard, an oversized postcard. Hey, there's Trump. We just cut him up. Um, that was coated with gesso. And then I went in with some gelatos and scribbled on the page. Then I used a paintbrush dipped into water and smeared them around a little bit. And then I took this same postcard and I've cut it up into multiple pieces so that we can make embellishments for our junk journals. Oh yes, okay, I'll show it again. Get them back out and play with them. And then I stamped over the gelatos with the postcard collage stamp from Beeline Designs that's in my shop. I love the colors. It, it, it seems to grow on me as it sits here and dries. I don't know why, but it does. Okay. So, you want to see the journal, so let me grab it. Excuse my head underneath here. Try not. Okay, so here is the Wings Journal. It's a card, watercolor thickness paper that I've stamped, and it's got some lace on here. Sewed around it a little bit. Here is the inside. Made a little corner pocket journal card. Journal card. This piece right here is uh, canvas, and it's been bordered with some watercolor paper again bordered little stamp journal card lace here this can actually tuck up underneath if you want yeah experiment i understand if it frustrates you it's hard and then here is a pocket here made a little note card this flips up. This is canvas here. This is the watercolor paper piece of lace here that is going on the edge. I don't know if y'all can see that. Another corner, another one of those little notebooks. This is the center. Again, it's water, heavy watercolor paper, so you could do some mixed media stuff on there. Yeah, it all started with junk mail, exactly. Another piece of canvas. This is a journal I made a while back as a project for Canvas Court Brands. 
and they borrowed it for a while to show people and I finally got it back and I was like well it's too late to list it in my shop I'll just use it as a raffle okay so we got these three here and I think I kind of like that right there um, let's put let's put one of these little birdies on here wouldn't that be kind of cute it'd be kind of cute on there maybe put a little heart behind there like that yeah yeah maybe 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 um let's see what else i got here i've got this little birdie he could go on there i've got a different heart different shape heart maybe we can put that over here and i've got a butterfly and then i've got some of these words let's see if any of these words desirable graceful we need to do that one graceful Shabby stitches. You know what shabby stitches are. They're on their way to you, Angelica. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie Ann. I colored those with Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. That's how those are colored. I love using the Glimmer Mist to color those. All right, it's not cut perfectly, but it's cut. I'm okay with it. We're going to put some Distress Ink on there. Let's put him up there and put this right there. What do you think? That would be kind of cute, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to put something on the hearts. I'm just laying it down for composition of what I think I want to use. That's how I do things. As I think about it. Let's do embrace. I think my dog got locked outside, so I'm going to go open the door um, and let him back in. I think the door shut. And he's in there uh, scratching at the door. We'll do embrace. We'll add some color to that heart. And let's do maybe life on this one. Yeah. Maybe he isn't outside. I think it's a different noise I'm hearing. I'm hearing noises. Uh, shabby stitches. I'm gonna put that like right in there. Yeah, I think those would be cute. All right, so let's um, let's put some color on those. I'm gonna look at my maybe maybe we'll do the some lavender on that one, and let's do this tealy color on that one. <clears throat> You love it, Julie? It's, it's the gelatos. I just love, you know, you can kind of do this with the other products too, but I love the way this turned out. All right, so let me grab my blending tool. All right, so if y'all didn't know, these little bitty ones, you can store your pads in the bottom so you have them in case you want to use it and not contaminate your colors. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. So I'm going darker around the edges and kind of bringing it in to the middle. And I know the lighting is bad. Can you see that? Cute, cute, cute. All right, let's do... Um, I think we need some of the purple around the embrace. Bad Junkie Joe. It's okay, Carrie Ann. If you have your uh, uh, punctuation too close together, Junkie Joe thinks you're posting the link. And it's okay. It's not the end of the world, all right? <laughs> I think that'll be cute like that. Let me zoom in so you can see it. You like that? Isn't that kind of cute? I really need Jason to fix my lighting because it's really bugging me. It doesn't want to work right. It's too, I don't know. It's like the blacks or something aren't working right. All right. So now let's do around 
the heart. So I'm going to add some of the purple. So it kind of gets that mixed media look. It looks like we watercolored around it, you know, but we use the distress ink on there, make it a lavender color. Put that there. And I think I'm going to pick up this teal to put around the life. Does that sound like a good idea? How are we doing on time, y'all? It's 2.30. No, Junkie Joe is not a person. He is a robot. <laughs> You're welcome. So don't worry. Don't worry. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> it just happens. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, Junkie Joe is weird. Thinks it's a link. <laughs> who let the dog out? Who, 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 who? <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> All right, I think that looks pretty cute. Let's glue this together. Let's glue it. So I'm just using a little bit of Aline's tacky glue on there. And again, so here's another tip because we're using. Uh, Beeline Designs rubber stamps, if I want, I could take this to my computer and scan it in and reprint those. So I don't have to spend the time reproducing this over and over and over. I can just print it. <laughs> Christy, he's not evil. He's just a fake robot. <laughs> he's not good or bad, particularly. He's helpful to me. Bots are goofy. That's right. Sometimes they are. Uh, uh. All right, put this down here. I'm liking it. It's so cute. Cute, cute, cute. Cute, cute, cute. I think I need to use some black around the edges, though, because I want it to be a little bit darker. So before I put the birdie down that sticks out, I'm going to grab my black. Where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Is that it? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's purple-ish or something. All right. So I'm just going to really hit that with some black to see if that helps bring out that edge. Sometimes layering the black in the walnut stain helps, too, to give that... A little bit of a vintage, grungy look. Yeah, I, okay, I'll scan all of it, Terry. I think it'll be cool. I can offer, I can offer it as a digital download in my shop. <laughs> Junkie Joe is quirky, for sure. <laughs> Alright, I think I want that up here. Yeah, okay, so I want to glue down the little heart. I had some music paper, but this back side wasn't music, so I, I didn't want to use it as a journal page. I grabbed a heart punch and just punched the whole piece of paper and put it into this little basket so I had all these little hearts and cut shapes that I could use in projects. Yeah, let's get the pen nib out. And then the little birdies and the butterflies, those are stamped on cardstock. And I just sat down and colored them with Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. Oh, trying to get a boss fight. How I did the little words? Yeah, I can show you how I did the little words. Yeah, you're not the only one covered in paint. It's all over. <laughs> I have it everywhere. I have it everywhere. You like those? Are those pretty cute? I think those turned out cute. All right. Let me show you how I did the uh, word stamps. What did I do with it? All right. I think it's this one. Yeah, here we go. So Beeline Designs has these uh, finger prints. That's the name of the stamps. Um, I can do a search really fast to show you. Finger. 
Oh, I should have done that in a product, shouldn't I? Huh, huh, huh. Scrolling! All right. Finger prints. And let's search that. Okay. So these are all the fingerprints stamps. There you go. You couldn't find two paints at all where you are, Carrie? All right, so I'm gonna look for, here it is. Nope, that's not the right one. Okay, I have all of these blocks and can't find one that works. <laughs> all right, so this is how they come. They come as just a red piece of rubber with the words. There's no backing, so you gotta put either double-sided tape, you could use Aline's Tacky Glue, you can use, not Aline's, not Tacky Glue, Aline's Tack It Over and Over Again, you could use the best glue ever, that's what I did here. And then it will stick to your block. Then I grabbed a piece of cardstock I have one. Oh, here's one that I haven't stamped on this side. So I'm going to lay that out there. Get my black archival ink. Ink it up. Okay. And then I'm just going to stamp it right on top here. And so you could do that to a bunch of little cards just to have it handy. And then just cut them out as you need them. Does that help? <laughs> Polly made Junkie Joe feel weird, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <clears throat> refresh Christy if it's buffering alright so we got those made so let's set this over here and I think let's see what I've got here no that's too big some things work, some things don't. What if we did something like that? And then we'll pick a word to put up there. How's that sound? We'll do it on this one as well. You like that? And I think these are going to go that way. I think these are going to become side tucks on a page. I haven't decided what I'm going to put on it yet. <clears throat> you like that? Here, here it is. You can get them right here. There's a whole bunch of them. There's the link for the stamps. Those are for the fingerprints. Fingerprint. There. That's what I just shared. You like the doily? Okay, good. All right, I think that'll work. Um, what kind of words? We're getting closer. Has everybody entered into the raffle? Let's use treasures. Let's use treasures. Okay. I think treasures could go right there. And let's go enchanting. That's a good one. And there's another one that says dreamer. I think we may need both of those. We may need them both. You're very welcome, Kathy. Thank you all for being here, for being a part of the live stream. If you have questions, again, put it all caps. Um, I'll do my best to answer it. If I don't see it, just ask again. All right, let's do this. Enchanting. We're going to use that in a little bit. I think, I think, I think. All right, I think this looks pretty good. Do we, we don't need an additional heart. I think... Keeping it pretty simple like that will work. So let's put some Distress Ink around the word on each of these. Let's give it a word, man. You're in Prince Edward Island. I've heard that's a really pretty place. Raffle. If you donated, enter the journal raffle. As soon as I get 
these embellishments made, I will be drawing. Normally, uh, Robin would be reminding us. <laughs> But she had to get off because there was some severe thunderstorms. And I think she was also getting some tornado uh, activity. They are uh, stamps. Arlene, those are stamps. It's a rubber stamp that I now carry in my shop. So I just stamped it. It's a rubber stamp. And I just stamped it out onto a little paper and I just cut them out as I want to use them. And there's a bunch of sets. And here's the link to those stamps. There you go. There's the stamps. All right, so we're going to glue this all down. I'm not going to put, I wasn't going to put any distress ink. I'm going to put just a little bit of distress ink on the doily. I'm just barely touching it. I don't want it to rip. I think that'll work. I'm just put a little bit of glue here. And then I've got this little flower that I think kind of looks pretty. So I'm just going to put glue on the upper portion of it. Now this could become an altered paper clip if you want. You can just glue another piece on the back with the paper clip or this can become a corner tuck spot on your page so you could put something underneath it that way Australia Rhonda Robin had to go there was some severe thunderstorm so she got off for a few minutes I don't know if Sonia's still here or not she may be busy Sonia are you still here oh Carrie Ann's trying to get a boss fight ready Enter by typing exclamation point boss. It costs you 10 junk bucks, but you could win more. And I'll even enter. Good day, mate. <laughs> I love Australia's accents. Um, I'd love to go visit someday when I make a million dollars. I'll come see y'all. I'd love to travel the world. I'm going to trim this just a tiny bit. I should have made it the opposite, but I didn't, so that's how it is. Put that right there. All right, what do you think of those? With the color and everything, you like it? You like it? Oh, thank you, Paula, for your donation. Make sure you enter the raffle. All right, so those... I think I'm going to make a little journal with all these. This is going to be fun. All right, so we've got these strips, and I thought those could become side tuck spots. You would just glue right down the side here, and you can put stuff behind it. So we're going to have both of those. So I've got enchanting. I also have, I wonder if that's what we should do, is layer that. That's a calico collage image. Maybe that's what I'll do. I've got two of those. So how about if we do this? And then it becomes a little bit more layers. I think that's what we're going to do. Something different. Love it. Thank you, Carrie Ann. Thank you, Terry. Junk Buck is a point system that while you are here live with me, you accrue points that you can then redeem for a $10 off coupon to my store when you get to 2,000 junk bucks. Type exclamation point B-U-C-K-S. Somebody do that, please. And that will show you how many junk bucks you currently have. You earn junk bucks by watching, by chatting, by making donations. I think this will be cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, let's find another word that we can use. Yeah, so they're, they're showing. John, Lynn has got enough for a $10 off coupon. Paula's got enough for a $10 off coupon. Let's see. Pass for, let's do remember on this uh, dragonfly one. Oh, 
Paula got her coupon. I got to write her down so I can send it. I think I owe a couple people coupon codes. Paula A. Paula, I don't remember what your last name is. So if you could message me through my website, use the contact me form and make sure I know who you are, email address, whatever, uh, Facebook name, so I can contact you. Always know that if you don't get an email from me, check your um, spam for an email from, and this is my email address, email me at lindaisrael.com. Coupon. All right, Paula, congratulations on your coupon. You like them layered up? I mean, and the, what's neat is, you know, Norella has her digital image layered, and now I'm layering it over another piece. And so if we go behind that, let's say we have a journal card that we put right behind that. Now, wouldn't that look cool? I can put a gel print down the side. I could put it on this side, and then you're going to get the three layers there. In fact, that's what we'll do. We'll make a journal card to go with this. All right. I was going to do one of these, and I put it down. There it is. Remember... <laughs> Not yet, Arlene. You might have some. It might come up quicker than you think to to earn your junk bucks. <laughs> and welcome. We're so glad you're here for your first time. I hope you're enjoying this, that you're, you know, getting some inspiration, getting some ideas. Even though I'm sharing with you products that I offer, you probably have in your stash something that could work for this type of project. So get it out, play, create, make something with it. And then come on to Facebook, tag me in my Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group or in By Linda Israel. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna add some Distress Ink to two journal cards. People are messaging me. Oh, I gotta mess I gotta message her. Somebody's asking me a question and I didn't I, I said I was gonna do something and I forgot. <laughs> oh, there's too many things I need to do, y'all. So I'm just adding some distress ink to this. We're almost ready to be done, okay? You love how those are coming out? I think this is going to be really cute. I'm, I'm working on the journal card, too, that I want to put with it. And I think that's what I want to do is go that way. And let's see if I've got another strip here that I can use. Where's the strips? So that's another way to use those gel prints. I think this one would be good. It's a little bit shorter. We'll use this one. I'll cut this one to be two, an inch wide. Cut it about an inch. Use those gel prints. Use those mixed media pages to make things. Okay, so I'm going to trim this to be, this one's shorter, so let's see. I'm going to make these the same size so that if these were used on the page like opposite of each other, then they would kind of match. All right. Yeah, you have a lot of bucks, Angelica. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much, Polly. Thank you, thank you. Use those gelatos and then use some tattered angels uh, on some things today. We did paint and stencils. I've got some calico collage images. I used the Beeline Design Stamps. We use a lot of different things, thus mixed media. I'm using the gel prints that we've made on other live streams. And I know I say it, but, you know, if I show you something, I either have it in my shop or Norella has it in her shop or we can get it through um, Amazon. <laughs> so if you're shopping anyway, help us out. Help us grow. Henry, are you here? 
drive-by salutation. <laughs> He's been busy. We've got to, someone was coming today to pick up some equipment that we no longer need. And I know he was busy with that. I think I want it kind of at the bottom here so that when we put this behind it, it's got some neat layers, right? So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right here. So Henry stays busy too. You think I stay busy. He stays busy too. Put that right there. And I think I did good in picking the right card that kind of blends with all this. Friendly. Oh, you thought Henry was uh, Junkie Joe. Nope. Henry's got his own stuff to do. Junkie Joe is a bot. I have it programmed that it automatically shares uh, projects or links or whatever I want. Um, and then, of course, he is the uh, runner of our games. And whenever I do the giveaway, it's the software that I'm using that allows me to do all of that. Let's put this over here. We're almost done. So if you have made a donation, make sure that you type exclamation point or yeah, exclamation point uh, raffle to be entered. And here in just a moment, I'm going to say last call. And only those who have donated are, are eligible to win the journal. All right, so those are going to be the tuck spots. So let's go ahead and put this gel print on here. Very bad, very bad. <laughs> you like those, Carrie Ann? Thank you. So that was using the Dragonfly Delight images from Calico Collage. The fingerprints stamp that I have in my shop by Beeline Designs. The gelatos. We also used um, the postcard collage. I don't know if I want to do it this way. Because I think that would look really cool. And maybe... I wonder if I have, oh, here we go. What if we do this right across the top? What do you think of that? Does that look kind of neat or is that too cheesy? You like it? Maybe? No? Rather me do the butterfly instead of the pencil? Let me know. <laughs> Never occurred to you that Junkie Joe was a bot. <laughs> okay. Put this. Yeah. You like it? All right, we're getting ready to draw. Last call. If you want in on the journal. Butterfly. Okay. You like the butterfly over the pen? We can do that. I also have, I have a little rose. Maybe I'll put the rose on this one. Is that what we want to do? If that's going to go right there. Y'all see those? Butterfly. Oh, I'm turned. No pencil. Okay. Butterfly. I have a um, fountain pen with the fountain pen. Maybe that's too much. It's not balanced. I think we'll go with the rose and the butterfly. How's that? See you, Julie. Thanks for coming. Thank you. All right. I'm going to use the butterfly there. Butterfly on the pencil. So maybe something like that. We could even put it. How about something like that? No, I don't like that. I like this one better. Butterfly on the pencil. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming, Julie. Yes, they are different colors than the bundles, Sandra. Yes, I'm only going to start putting uh, 
the individual colors aren't going to be in the kits. The kits are for the subscription box matching colors, and those won't repeat in my shop. Coolio? All right. I had one person that says use the butterfly on the pencil and then use the rose up here. And then I'll clear this. I never did use the clockwork stamps. See, that's what happens. I have to have it right in my face. I think I may stamp some of those clockwork faces out and fussy cut them like I did the roses and the butterflies. All right, so Monday... Um, I haven't decided which kit I'm going to do. I am going to offer, i got to get it listed in my shop, the printed version of the beekeeper kit. So I may work on that Monday. At the top, you'd rather have it up here, Jenny? Maybe like that. Um... Ding is the first four letters of your last name. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Uh, butterfly and pencil looks good. Do you like that? Do you like it up here? I think I think we can go with it up there. We can do that. And then I'll show you all the stuffs again. We'll go. I'll flip through all the papers we made. And then if y'all are ready, I can draw... All right, I'm going to glue it down. I'm gluing it down. I'm committing. <laughs> All right, there is glue on the pencil. It's got to be stuck to something. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny, Barbara. I don't know if it's straight. Looks good there. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I like it. So here, here is ideas on embellishing your pages. I know Angelica was wanting some embellishment. So there's one set. Okay. And then let's move this away so there's no competition. I didn't make journal cards, but in theory, if you want me to, I can. That could hold, go up underneath there. Okay. That's a... Or... You could take another piece of paper, and I don't see my paper clips, and glue it to the back and make it an altered paper clip that you could set over the page, right? So that's another idea. I'll set this over here out of the way. Then we made twinchies. So this one was three inches. That was three inches. This was the scrap that was left over. These are two inch squares that I stamped the uh, postcard collage on again. We had some punched uh, hearts. <coughs> the birds and the butterfly are all beeline design stamps that I colored with watercolor or uh, tattered angels. The words are those word stamps. And then we used some distress inks. You like that? Do I have a certified glue tester? I, I should, right? <laughs> All right. Then there's room to write. Exactly. Got to have room to write. All right. There's a boss fight. All right, Arlene. Thanks so much for coming. You as well. Have a blessed afternoon. And thank you. And thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. All righty. And then we made... Yeah, I'm going to scan them. I'm going to take them and scan them. And then we made that tag... So I'm just going to kind of lay everything. We'll do it over here like this so you can see it. See all the pieces. So this could be a cute digital download, except I can't do um, Norella's image. So what I may do is uh, crop it out. What do you think? Oh, it's not in the screen. It's not in screen. Get in the screen. Let's do that. And then I can move these over here. Like that. 
Now you can see it all, right? Pretty much, almost. Let's put this right here. Put that up there. Put this right there. There we go. I, I knew I could do it. I knew I could get it. <laughs> Did you like all of that? You want the birds and the bees stamps? You're very welcome, Christy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all for being here. Results of the gelatos are great, aren't they? I love how they turned out. I think they looked really cool. I'll be doing that some more. I got to find more postcards. <laughs> yep, I have all these stamps in my shop. So if you see an image here, I have those stamps. This is Calico Collage Dragonfly Delight. I like it. I'm sure she's fine, uh, Christy. She's probably taking precaution and seek, you know, to pay attention to the weather. It's always good to be aware. So she's good. Thank you, Carrie. Yeah, there's a lot of new stuff. I was up till 1 a.m. last night. I added 13 different colors of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists. You can already see the uh, paint kit colors for the punked out steam those are in my shop you can pre-order those now even if you're not getting a subscription box you can buy those paint colors and I added like 20 some odd rubber stamps to my shop last night so I was busy yay yeah get out your gelatos and have fun Linda needs more junk mail yeah I need more junky postcards <laughs> I need more junky postcards. I'm going to make some. The last time I did the gelatos, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know if I like this. But then as it dried and I cut it up, I was like, oh, wait, I like this now. So that's why I wanted to show it again. Oh, Rhonda, so glad you're here. Um, you can uh, watch the replay and see how I did that. Just hit that uh, gear and speed it up. Coming to you, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna sign me up. <laughs> you, my address is in the description box. Um, so if you come across a really cool website that mails stuff for free, um, you can add me. I don't mind. It's just junk mail. What am I gonna do about it? They'll send it to me. If I don't like it, it goes in the trash, or it ends up in my. Let's paint this. <laughs> You like all the stamps? And I think the bird stamps. The bird stamps are super cute. I love how the birds come together. And I've got a bird bundle. Yeah, I need more hours in the day, Angelica is exactly right. Yeah, Terry says I'm going to need to get a job. Oh, and I will tell y'all that if you post projects made with my products, I have an affiliate program, so you can say, I made all of these using Linda Israel's products, and put a link, and I give you an affiliate link that you can use, and then if someone buys with that affiliate link, then you get 10% of that purchase, and we I haven't uh, had anybody get in that yet, but I do have it available, and I haven't decided if I'm going to pay you cash or in product, like a coupon. Like once you get to $10, you get a $10 off coupon to my store from your sales. So you earn a little bit of money. And if it gets big, then um, I'll figure out how to pay you. So, all right, Carrie Ann. Okay, perfect, Paula. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, let's, uh, let's do the giveaway, right? I'm just chatting away here and we need to do the giveaway. All righty. Everybody ready? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome, Paula. All right, let's do the giveaway. All right, we're going to pick a winner. Are you ready? Are you ready? Robin Fantasy won the journal, and she's not here. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. She's been wanting to win one for a while now, and she said it's my turn when she uh, sent me her donation. So yay! That's awesome, 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 awesome. Yay, Robin, that makes me so happy. Only, and, and I'm happy for all of you. Don't take that, that mean anything, but you know, Robin has been on, it, hey, Angelica, send her a message on the chatty chat, or on the uh, admin chat. <clears throat> um, 
Robin has been an admin of my Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. We're coming up on two years. Two years I've had this group. I have almost 20,000 members. We are the largest junk journal group on Facebook. And I can't do it without Robin, Angelica, uh, Loretta, Erica, uh, uh, Tanya. I'm trying to think who else. <laughs> I, of course, I'm on the spot, so I can't name them all. And I am so, so thankful for their help. And it makes me really happy that Robin, you know, one of my uh, team members that gives so much of her time, donates her time. I don't pay her. I don't have money to pay her. Um, she won the journal today. So that's amazing. Yay. See you later, Tia. Have a great day. Thanks uh, for, or T Lily. Thanks for being here. You're welcome, Terry. Yay! Go eat your supper. <laughs> Robin is very good. At I agree. She's so sweet. I love her. She's so helpful to me. I really appreciate it. Well, y'all, thanks for being here. You know, Paula, uh, let's chat about it. Let's chat about it. I could probably use some more moderators. Yeah. Thank you, Jenny. I'm so glad you love the group. We try to make it fun, and we try to make it that it's one place so you can share your junk journals, your video tutorials. You are I'm selling this once a day. You can sell the share those promotional type uh, videos posts once a day, every 24 hours. We, we encourage that. That's fine. Once a day. And then the rest of the time, share, you know, like a photo. I'm going to take a photo of this and post it in the group. Um, share a photo. This is what I made today. What do you think? You know, how should I change it? What can make it better? Or I love these colors. What's your favorite color? Tell us those type of things. And we're all about chatting. And I really encourage you that when you're in the group, you know, <clears throat> Spend just a couple of minutes, not that long. You're scrolling. Don't just scroll. At least leave awesome, beautiful, love it. Ask a question. What was your favorite part about making this? Or how did you go about that? Or where's a good place to get, you know? Uh, start a, a conversation. And let's get back into making relationships with other people. Even if it is through the computer, a phone, whatever, on social media. But make connections beyond just looking at something and giving it a thumbs up. Let's kind of chat with people and make some new friends. That's how I made a, a Calico Collage. Yeah, I'm still on. I'm just now done. You know, Norella and I met on the internet. Robin and I met on the internet. All of you, I've met because of the internet. And I love that y'all are so warm and friendly and helpful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we have swaps. They have great discussions. And and if there's drama, we delete it. I mean, that's all there is to I do not put up with uh, drama. Thanks, Giovanna. Thank you, Kim. I'm glad you love it. You're very welcome, Christy. I don't put up with drama. I don't put up with it in my personal life. I am sure heck not putting up with it online. Life's too short. Let's be happy. Let's encourage and lift each other up. And see how much wor better the world can be because of that. Okay, uh, so anyhow, just wanted to share. Thank you, Deborah. Have a good night. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. I've I've got friends I've had for twenty years as well. They do matter, Jenny. I agree. No drama group. So yeah, Norella. Um, this is I use the Dragonfly Delight cards. This was Gelato's. If you're still here, Norella. This was Gelato's. And I made a postcard that was twelve by six inches, and then I cut it up into these pieces yeah no drama exactly exact thank you Polly I agree bye Chrissy mwah, mwah, mwah. lots of love to you <laughs> all right any questions anybody have any questions anything else you want to share I'm getting messages <laughs> you're welcome you're very welcome thank you Angelica thank you for being here I know you're busy I know all of you have busy um, schedules and so I appreciate coming and hanging out with me because it makes me feel good to be able to play to enjoy what I do and maybe make a little bit of money while I do it so I can continue to do something that I love yeah no drama you're very welcome Angelica 
You love the word stamps, Polly? Those are fun, aren't they? I, you know, I mean, sure, you could, on a computer, just type out the words, but then it's not handmade. It's a computer doing it, you know? But stamping them out like this and then just cutting them as I need them is kind of fun. <clears throat> they look amazing. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm going to scan these in, except for I won't, I'll put a piece of paper over the calico collage image, and uh, I'll scan those in so I can have them, okay? <laughs> if you end this, I can watch it. I got you, Rhonda. <laughs> well, they ship with my stencils when I order. What? Okay, I didn't see what you were looking. Oh, the word stamps. Uh, yeah, if, if you want me to hold... I, I don't know if I've sent it already, um, Polly. I'll have to look to see if I've already sent your order. I had a couple that I was waiting on more stencils to be cut. So if you want, I can put them together. Yeah. Just let me know what you want. He's still there. All righty. I'm going to get off here. Some people want to watch the replay. <laughs> and, uh, you know... Uh, Y'all really do make me happy. I, you don't really know how much fun I have. My face hurts when I get done from smiling. <laughs> what, a, what a pain to have, right? <laughs> a pain that hurts your face because you've been laughing and enjoying the company of other people's, even if it is through the internet. So I want to thank y'all. Uh, I really appreciate the love that you give me. Um, I'm about to tear up. You know, I, I, I really do appreciate y'all. And thank you for your support. This little artist gal from a, a little farm uh, house in the middle of Oklahoma that never went to college except for a couple of courses I never finished. You know, um, I've never even taken a professional art class. This is all self taught and with YouTube videos and a few little workshops that I've attended over the years. So thank y'all for being here. Y'all have a fabulous day. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, my eyes are watering. <laughs> XOXO, love, love, love. All right, I'm going to hit the end now button <laughs> so that I can get off here. I need to go uh, walk around a little bit and answer some messages. And uh, I'm going to go sit in the hammock outside for a few minutes. So love y'all lots. Take a good uh, rest. Uh, take a good care of yourself and love life get some rest when you need it and of course have a wonderful rest of your day check out my facebook groups and we'll see you next time uh, on monday at 3 45 p.m central standard time we'll be making a journal with the beekeepers kit thank you again love you lots bye